Hi folks, and welcome to this third rambling rat episode. Serious one this one, and it's got me pretty angry. And it's a kind of thing which can indirectly affect me, especially when the day comes where I want to take the next logical step, the next big leap, and move my content onto YouTube. Well, it's kind of put me off what's just happened last week. Uh, to cut long story short, person known as Alex Murray, I think that's how you pronounce it, started to issue multiple DMCA copyright strikes on uh, quite a lot of YouTube channels last week for reasons i'm trying not to get into detail right now because if i do this video is going to be 20 minutes long and i don't want to do that uh, to cut a very very long story short as much as possible she was hired as a sub external contractor to work alongside other subcontractors i believe on doing the, uh, like a music composer to write music and everything for a game by Immigros Softworks. The game in question was Star, as in two R's at the end, Maze of DSP. And basically, they let her go halfway through. She says the music belongs to her when obviously it belongs to the company and there's actual proof that this is the case and she wouldn't have it and instead of going through i don't know illegal proper channels by the court maybe through she won't win because she's in the right uh wrong sorry basically she took upon herself to start issuing dmc takedowns on i believe over 62 youtube channels which are footage of the game in question which the music which she supposedly owned issuing them takedown strikes which is basically one co copyright strike and some videos unfortunate enough channel sorry to get more than one and as you know all well know by now if you get three copyright strikes on your channel <coughs> you're off youtube and she had the nerve to basically say i will take down and remove my copyright claim on your channel if you support me in my case against him across softworks and of course the people who were the youtube channels which got issued with this copyright strike in the first place they basically turn around and say you've got the nerve to ask for my help to say that you remove your copyright claim on my video if we help you in your battle against uh, Immigros Softworks when you issued a copyright strike on me in the first place. Does that make any sense? I'll let that sink in for a minute. And basically, uh, to my knowledge, of the 62 channels, YouTube channels, that 62 different content creators were effective, over 100 videos, and this doesn't exclude all the ones on Twitch. Um, but cut to now, hopefully, everything is now resolved. But still, it's a fiasco which shouldn't have gone to this stage in the first place. It should never have happened. If you want to know more about this DMC wave, which that's what everyone's calling it, please check out the two links below the description of this video. One would be by Jim Sterling, who got affected, who's one of my YouTube subscribers I follow. And the other is, well, what's his name I'm trying to find? Uh, think about um, I can't remember his name now uh, Sid Alpha that's it uh, I post two li two videos two links which explain more in detail this whole DMC wear business now that's all I'm gonna say about that because I, like I said if I if I go to direct big detail about this I'm gonna be all bloody night basically but I want to talk about why it shouldn't have happened in the first place this is what i want to talk about and the steps 
which YouTube themselves could have took to avoid this bullshit in the first place. So like I said, if you want to find out more about the Alex Mer DMC web itself, please watch the two videos in the description and then you find out more information. So with that all the way, I want to say the way YouTube governs its DMC eh, system is all run by a bot. Well, it's all automatic process. No one actually mans this. It's all automatic by a bot. For years and years and years now, everyone is keep saying, YouTube, this system doesn't work. It's, it's wrong. It's corrupted. People take advantage of this and do wrongly accused copyright strikes on content creators. As in the stuff they do, which is perfectly above board, and they're getting copyright strikes when they shouldn't be. But because the bot, it, the system's all automated, the people who issue them are getting away with it, and it's been going on for far too long now. And things like this is nothing new, but the thing which happened last week is one of those ones where it's gone so bad now things have to change and the most thing which I found quite <laughs> I'm not gonna say funny but quite bewildered with is that it didn't take YouTube themselves to figure out hey up something's going wrong here until their 100th DMC takedown was issued by Alex Mer on the content creators it took them 100 of these copyright strikes on the 100 video to sit up and take notice what's going on. A hundred. And that really, really <laughs> pisses me off. This is what they should do. They should completely overhaul the system which manages these copyright claims in the first place and safeguard against falsely accused ones. So therefore, content creators which are innocent shouldn't have, have to counterclaim when they shouldn't have to do that in the first place because the video is above board but I can't see this happening anytime soon and it worries me because it can't this after what's happened it kind of put me off it's kind of put me off to taking a big leap onto YouTube it really is and now it's making me wonder, should I stay on Google Plus? I was thinking of making a website on my own because I used to be in a clan. I used to be the clan administrator, so I know about all this stuff. But the fact is, if I want to start all my videos on it, it takes a lot of gigabytes on the website to store this information, and I might have to pay. So it's like that at the moment. So. So in a nutshell, it's kind of really put me off and going to YouTube. It really, really is. And if YouTube doesn't pack its ideas up soon and drastically change its system, then I don't know what I'm going to do. And if it carries on, I think people will get so sick of YouTube, they will find other means to broadcast their content. And then YouTube now will say, oh, why is everyone leaving for? When it's obvious why, ain't it? At that point in time, you might have your head so far off your own backsides to notice what's going on. I don't know. So, there you go, really. So, I really was thinking of moving on to YouTube at the end of the year. I really was. But now things this has happened. Like I said, it scared me. It really has scared me. It's it's really it's really frightened me off. Scared me off, I should say as well. So there you go. I hope this where's the fair use hash, hashtag or hashtag where's the fair use campaign really gains momentum because this has to stop. It really has. So with that said. As always, this is a big black rat.
and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.